there always seems to be some confusion about flow direction that is flow towards or away from the transducer so I put this little tutorial together for you hope it helps so again the question is is flow moving towards or away from the transducer and is flow moving from right to left or left to right on the image here's the things we need to pay attention to first the look angle of insonation we need to always pay attention to the color bar and the spectral scale we'll break each one of these down a little further Let's discuss the look angle of insonation, and this varies a lot depending on upon the steering necessary in order to obtain the data at an acceptable Doppler angle. That is one that's 60 degrees or less, so we get good quality data. Steering may not be necessary at all if the vessel is not parallel to the skin line. Generally, we can steer the beam left or right or no steering straight down. This varies somewhat with the manufacturer. Some manufacturers allow incremental steering, others only right or left, sometimes none, such as in curvilinear arrays, which cannot beam steer. So here's a couple of examples. The look angle is depicted by the yellow arrow and is always going to be parallel to the color box. The left hand image is steered left. No steering in the center, the look angle is straight down, and the image on the right, we are steered right. Note how the yellow arrow always remains parallel to the color box. Perhaps a little bit more complicated in a curvilinear array. Now, a curvilinear array cannot beam steer. The look angle is always going to be perpendicular to the transducer face, but similar to a linear array, it remains parallel to the color box. However, note how this varies across the image. Let's direct our attention to the color bar. This is very important. You always have to be aware of that. While there's some nuance among manufacturers, basically most use red and blue. Flow towards the transducer is always on the top, in this case red. Flow away from the transducer is always on the bottom, in this case blue. And yes, the sonographer can and often will flip the color assignment. In fact, many times this is done automatically by the instrument upon beam steering. In this case, note flow towards the transducer is blue, flow away is red. Now what I recommend doing is draw an imaginary reference line 90 degrees or perpendicular to that look angle. And then we'll consider the course of the vessel through that field of view. So in this case, if our vessel is red, we go over, check our color box. We know flow towards the transducer or towards that reference line is red. We know flow in this vessel is moving from right to left. How about a similar situation? However, this time our color box is steered towards the left. We're going to put in our reference line perpendicular to the look angle. We're going to go check the color bar. We know flow away from the transducer is red. So in this case, we can determine flow is moving away from the reference line or from left to right. So in this image, a similar situation, we're steered to the left. However, we have a curved vessel. Let's still note our look angle and our reference line. We'll double check our color bar, flow towards is blue, so that we know to the left of the field of view, flow is moving towards that reference line, and then it curves away and moves away from the reference line or transducer to the right-hand side of the image. So we know flow is curving through that field of view from left to right. Also note, right at the transition, we strike the blood cells at 90 degrees, no Doppler shift. So let's move on to the curvilinear array, which does not beam steer. However, our look angle is still perpendicular to that face of the transducer and parallel 
to that box. However, that does change throughout that field of view. Let's draw in a couple of examples of our look angles as well as those reference lines. Now let's imagine a vessel coursing straight through the field of view in this fashion and consider its relationship to those reference lines. Let's go through the interpretation on this image. First off, we'll check our color bar. We note that flow towards the transducer is red. We'll check the vessel. In the left side of the vessel, the color is red. So we know that's moving towards our reference line. There in the center, we strike it about 90 degrees, no Doppler shift. But to the right of the vessel, it transitions to blue. And yes, indeed, that's moving away from our reference line. So in this image, we can determine that flow is moving from left to right. Let's look at a real world scenario. This is an aortic bifurcation. We see the distal aorta and both the right and the left common iliacs. Let's go ahead and put our look angle in there along with the reference lines. We'll double check our color bar. Flow towards the transducer is red, flow away is blue. We can look at this section of the distal aorta. We see flow is red and yes, it's moving towards that reference line. It's also moving towards the reference line in the right common iliac. However, it's moving away from the reference line in the left common iliac and therefore displayed as blue. So flow is moving from left to right. When considering spectral data, that spectral look angle is already there depicted by that spectral cursor line. If it helps you, feel free to picture that imaginary reference line 90 degrees to that look angle. However, we also need to consider how that spectral point interacts with the vessel. We also must consider the spectral display and the scale along the side. The numbers listed there have a positive or negative designation. A positive Doppler shift equals flow towards the transducer. A negative Doppler shift equals flow away from the transducer. In this case, the negative Doppler shift or flow away from the transducer is displayed above the baseline. So I hope this tutorial on how to determine if flow is moving towards or away from the transducer or is flow moving from right to left or left to right on the image was useful to you. To summarize, note the look angle of insonation, always pay attention to the color bar as well as the spectral scale. Final, don't overthink it. While we end up switching back and forth a lot, uh, it seems like a lot to keep track of. Pretty soon, it becomes pretty second nature.